Family of a good Samaritan murdered by a stranded driver. She stopped to help receive justice today. That murder happened in August of 2021 in Chester County. The suspect, Amber Harris, reaching a plea deal with the state and avoiding trial today. Prosecutors say she beat Linda Robinson with a two by four and dragged her several feet down the road where she ultimately died. WBTV's Lowell Rose sat in that courtroom today. He joins us live from Chester with the latest. Lowell. Well, Siobhan and John, it was day one for the trial and a jury pool had been selected. Now, and they were told to call back this afternoon, but that never happened. Harris agreed to a plea and a judge sentenced her today. How can someone be so cruel? I have not been able to sleep a full night since these monsters did this to my mom. Emotions filled the courtroom Monday as Amber Harris pleaded guilty to voluntary manslaughter and carjacking that killed 63-year-old Linda Robinson. I just don't get it. I, mean, I, I wish it was the worst for I mean, that's a bad thing to say. As the family gave statements, Harris teared up. I'm sorry. Too late to cry now. I know. Okay. I'm sorry. Harris reportedly beat Linda Robinson with a wooden board, which she refused to give up her car. The defense said Harris was on several drugs during the incident, including heroin, meth, marijuana, and fentanyl. Her attorney claims she panicked while trying to make it to her probation hearing. I apologize to the family. I would find it. I never want to hurt nobody. I'm sorry. And I hope you just mercy. Although a jury pool was selected, Harris agreed to the plea deal. Instead of facing murder charges with her trial, she agreed to voluntary manslaughter and carjacking charges. The state believes Harris acted alone, and DNA evidence doesn't support that a man was in involved in the death of Linda Robinson. The state is asking that these charges be run consecutively and that Amber Harris receive the full 60 years that she is facing. These are 85% crimes, no parole. All right. Now, the judge ultimately did the, agree with the state and sentenced her to 60 years in prison without parole. Now, the state nor the family agreed to a comment once court adjourned today. As we're now reporting live in Chester, Lowell Rose, WBTV, on your side. can only imagine what that family is feeling today. Lowell, thank you.